bee's milk. Eh, maybe 62 pages? Sorry about that. What's up, everybody? Eric here. Ooh, I got my hat on because it's cold out because it's an endless winter. Yeah, baby. We got it in Kickstarter in this winter. I like late pledged it. I don't think this is officially a Kickstarter. This is a late pledge. Um, so I didn't get direct Kickstarter exclusives or things like that. I don't know. I don't really know how it works. I'm just kind of here for the ride. But anyway, endless winter. Super excited. We hit ancestors i tend to not go all in on things some people say you should go all in on things i tend to not i just usually stick with the base and um but yeah so we got endless winter and the ancestors that came with it and we're gonna take a look at it today and i am pretty excited pretty excited i love dude imperium i love lost runes of arnak and apparently this is in the same vein but i've heard it's on par for sure so omni tool let's get into it i'm excited and we will see what we're dealing with here artwork by the miko i always for some reason heard the miko the miko i don't know i'm, I'm i am not I know, like, Vincent Dutrait because everybody talks about him, and then I thought I knew D'Amico, but it's like D'Amico, and then there's uh, Beth Sobel, obviously, but I am not super in hip to all of the artistry in board gaming. I'm sure tons of people go unrecognized that should because there's fantastic art in board games. It's shiny. That's cool. Um, yeah, so this artwork, we will see. I think it's good. Like, I'm, uh, I'm excited. It's, I mean, Dune Imperium is... Lost Runes Arnak, I think it's pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Endless Winter. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at that fanciness. It's like a giant jawbone sword, I think, or something like that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Heard about this. Unconscious Mind. Coming on Kickstarter. Q4 of 2022. Alright. Intrigued. Not gonna lie. Intrigued on that one. Do have a bit of a psychology background. Lynn and finish on the rule book. Alright, let's see. Lynn. Rule book, 20 pages. Oh, I need. Look at it. Yeah, baby. Get some. Ooh, solo mode. Yes, please. This one's not 20 pages. This one's probably 10. I was going to say 8. It's 8. All right. So here. Ah, this is a piece of cardboard. So that's fun. Here we have storage recommendations. I love it. I love it. Love it so much when games do this. If there is need for it. Ooh, look at these dual layer player boards. We're opening them because I want to see them. Component quality is stellar. Look at that. So I think these are different chiefs maybe or different tribes not sure exactly how it works but worker placement deck building yes please sign me up all day every day cool love it it looks great that is nice all right this goes off to the side resources neat tools things more cardboard exciting uh, we got tokens and things, more tokens and things, some Kibitos things. All right, there are four of each of these. I am guessing these sort player color. Not positive, but going out on a limb and saying that's what it's for. If that's the case, amazing. I love everything about it. Uh, okay, we got a big uh, or 
organizer here. This has the miniatures. We'll do it at the end. We got cards. We'll do those at the end. We're going to put this big guy off to the side. These are off to the side with this. That stuff has to be get and gotten to. I'll use that little. All right, now we got, I think this is a player with Look at this. Look at this. I'm not going to say it's wasted artwork, but like realistically, the, this is when you're going to see the bottom of the box right now. Unless this is the type of game where everything gets pulled out. Possible. Um, hey, look. It's extra. It's cool. It's deluxified. You can't complain about it, right? What's the point? There is... Better is better is better. I think this game... is a fantastic value. I don't... I'm assuming it's going to come out retail. But, like, 60 bucks for this quality. I don't know about you, but that to me seems real solid. Real, real solid. <clears throat> okay, so here is the main board, I believe. So that's cooling up. Yeah, the artwork's very good. It's very good. Not gonna lie. It's cool. It's got flavor. Does the Miko do uh, Valeria? Because Valeria seems... It's a different artist, but it seems similar-ish. So, at least Card Kingdoms. They, he might do other... Um, they might try and keep it in the Valeria world. Uh, these tiles. I'm probably not going to pop them all out, but let's, they pop out extremely well. Excellent. Um, if, as it seems to suggest, there is a kind of modular board going on, that's pretty awesome. Well, this thing's cool, whatever it is. Awesome. All right, so that's cardboard and stuff. We're going to keep that off to the side. For now, I don't need to pop everything out. Put that in the bottom of the box. All right. What do I want to do? What do I want to look at this. Player trays. They are indeed. Should we organize the player trays? Not yet. But we will. Believe me. We will. Okay. I am not mildly concerned. I'm good. We're good, team. We're good. Okay, here we go. We have a little extra, this might go like as a side player board, but it's more dual layer little things. Not sure exactly what they're for, but we'll find out. We got our little player colored bases, our player colored huts. Let's take out the huts, take a look at them. I'm sure they're called something other than huts, something more uh, official. I love purple as a player color, by the way. Give me pink or purple all day long, please. Enough with the yellows and the blues and the reds and the greens. Okay, moment of truth time. Not really, but yes. Uh, I like to analyze card wrap, and I can tell you, eh, maybe not, probably. Um, the bigger packs, they got the twisty dudes. This one does not. This one's going to be annoying. I can play right now. But let's check these guys out. First, we see they have a nice little and easily grippable gripper. We bring it around. Easily pops off. That is beautiful. That is what I love to see. I get really frustrated when cards on. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. Card quality is incredibly good. Oh, these feel good. Man, these cards feel good. I want all my cards to be this. I don't know what they are. I think they're linen finished, and then they are probably some kind of good card stock. I'm going to open all these packs because I want to, because I like the way these cards feel. Yep. Good. Very good. Very, very good. We got more. Okay. Oh, they're nice. 
They're real nice to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. They're real nice. I'm just gonna stack them together because they have the same back. I probably just messed everything up, but you know what? I can figure it out later. I believe in myself. All right, the third one in the big card trilogy. Again, very simply easy. I love it. These, I think, are player color specific. I think I'm done showing cards. Look at this. You can't see it over here. You can see it here, but you can't see it here. Here it is. Uh, green. It looks like three. Purple, purple, purple. Oh no. Oh no. Ew. There's a lot of purple. Maybe? I don't know, guys. This is red, pink? That's. Okay. I think this is player color specific, but honestly, I don't know if that's true or not. Because these look like brown. I thought they were player color specific, but no, I'm I'm just making stuff up. I don't know what's going on. I just work here. Okay, well, whatever. Cards. The cards are great. Card quality is great. I'm going to put these into here. i got this handy-dandy thing. Perfect. Now I'm going to open these. These, I can tell you right now, and I'm guessing... For smaller cards, it's just more difficult and more work than is necessary to do the same thing. So these are just going to be annoying to open. That's just pretty much what it is. You've got to use a knife. I really am not a fan of using a knife on my cards. I have yet to like thoroughly damage any cards, but I just don't like the idea of it. Um, so... Is what it is. So, yep, this is just your generic plastic wrap that you have to cut off. It just is what it is. It is what it is. Things, stuff, things. These might be. Uh -huh. I think we found them. Starting hand. So, everyone probably gets one of these. One, two, three, four. Oh, maybe. Depending on player, you get different starting hands. We got dark gray, white gray. These are different things. Alright. Green. Blue. Okay, I'm lying. These are not... No, maybe no cards go specifically in there. I don't know. I don't know, team. Whatever. This is what happens when you try and pretend like you know what you're talking about, and then you just don't. That's just what happens. That's just the way of the world. Okay. So I can go like that. I can go like this, maybe. Sounds good. Good enough for now. Alright, let's look at these people. <laughs> okay. This guy. It's got the uh, inking, or whatever they call it, the wash, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty cool. It's bone. Oh, this lady's all about it. She is wrapped up and ready to go. This girl, I think, is ripped. It's a guy. I don't know. It's a girl or a guy, but they're ripped. They're like, I don't, I don't, I can, I can handle the cold. I'm BA. Oh, I like this guy. He's got a little puppy dog with him, a little wolf wolf. Or something. Oh, my doggy. And then this guy's also super cool with his big old horns. So he's got a giant turtle shell on. That's super cool. All right. Um, I might, may, or may not have to figure out who goes in which spot. Because I don't know. I think this one goes here. This one goes here. But honestly, I don't know. So, let's see if this goes on here. I did pretty good. I think I matched them all up. This might be for the elephant thing that came as a Kickstarter exclusive that I didn't get. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. 
All right, let's build the boxes. One burial cap and nine starter cards. It definitely says starter cards and things in there, but I'm not gonna worry about the card sorting right now, but I will put in the pieces. Um, this is, all right, we have, I was out with my daughter yesterday, the other day. She found one of these somewhere on the ground on a shelf or something. I started tearing it apart as if like, oh, look, candy. She's three. I'm terrified. I am terrified. I have a six-year-old who never thought to eat silica packets. But my three-year-old, she is into it. All right. We got our little tents. They got their little designs on them. So that's cool. We're going to separate all the colors into five nice little piles. We got our player color rings. Purple, red, green, orange. I like orange over yellow. I don't know why, I don't know why yellow is not my favorite. It's a bright color. I typically like bright colors. I've just we got our little hooks. Orange, purple. Maybe because red and orange are kind of close-ish, so if you include one, you shouldn't have the other. I don't know. They're different enough. Like, they're different enough. Although color blindness, I don't know if that actually makes a difference or not. Red, green, color blind, I think, is a thing, but I don't know if orange is a thing. Got these little solid blue crystal cubes. I'm not sure what the purpose of those are. Then we have some more snacks I could bury those I could bury those in my garbage so my daughter doesn't come inside their tasty treat green gray red orange gray I wonder if gray is for solo mode and then we got peoples people meeples screen printed peoples Purple are club wielders. Reds have torches. Green, bow and arrow. And orange have spears. All different models for the different colors. I appreciate that. I don't know what these are, but they are tiny and cute. They look like little puzzle pieces. Oh, I think they're little birds. So we'll put each of those with their color. Probably to match that like crazy bird track thing. Uh, and we have we have these things that are some kind of marker. Orange, red, purple, green, and then last we got animals. Animals. They look like animals at least. Purple is a bear. Green is a, a mammoth. Red is a buffalo, maybe? Or a bull of some sort. And orange is... It, almost, it looks like a lion. A saber-toothed tiger, maybe? And there's a second green... That appears to be a wolf. So, there we go with those. And a whole bunch of extra bags. Because we have those handy dandy player trays. So, the bags are going to be more extra bags. More extra bags are good. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Each group gets some gray ones for free. I think two gray go with each. Three. Let's see. One, two. One, two. Two gray in each. Look at these things. I think I, uh, I just got a sneaking suspicion this game is gonna sing to me. I don't know what it is. It's just on the surface. I don't know why. I'm just feeling it. I could be wrong. We'll find out. Okay, so if you look on here, it tells you little huts, your 
of uh, square things, all your player pieces, and then there'll be a deck of cards in there as well. Uh, I'll probably do one just to kind of show what a tray setup looks like, but I don't think I need to do all of them on camera. And then we have all of our red tiles, squares. I'm not sure exactly what they are They're for tiling your bathroom floor. All right, so this is what it looks like. That is what we got. That's the red. And we'll get the starter decks in there. We'll figure out exactly how that works out. Um, wait, I almost forgot. We have the Ancestors expansion. Let's see what's in here. It looks like more cards. How could I forget you? Paleo-American ancestors. How are we supposed to learn our history without our ancestors? There we go. More stuff. Oh, it's cards, baby. It's cards. Oh, hold on. Look at it. I got a mammoth. I didn't think I was getting a mammoth. I got a mammoth. Oh, I'm happy. Look at it. I bet he's gonna go in there. Yay! Sorry, I gotta do this now. I'm excited. I did not think I was getting this stuff. It does go in there. Aww. Aurora Borealis. Canine. Fam familiars module. Well, look at that! Surprise! Surprise me. I will take it. That's excellent. Here's the mammoth. Oh, I'm so happy. Sometimes things happen that just make you happy. Oh, sorry, I'm a weirdo. Embrace your weirdness, by the way. Okay, cool. We got another one of these. Um, it's got a little thing on the back, so I don't see that's probably expansion thing. Uh, canine module. More cards. I'm gonna keep these in here for now, and then the Aurora Borealis module. Little modular things are always, can be cool. So it's nice to have that. More cards. Uh, a Yeti promo, apparently. Oh, see this little card wrap has a thing on it. Interesting. And more cards. Excellent. I'm going to take this out. This is all going to fit in the base box for sure. So this will either get hung up on my wall somewhere or thrown in the trash. I know. <gasps> Gasp! He does that? Yes, he does that. Uh, do I want to open these? I don't think... I don't think I'm going to open them. I'm going to test the little card pack to check it. But I think I'm going to keep this stuff isolated in its own world. Um, easy to grab. Yeah, these are good too. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to take it fully off, but yep, they're good. They could have done that with the other pack next time. I believe in you. Endless Winter. Pumped. Super excited. Uh, I'm going to probably start soon a video series about after the first play. I have a couple games that, uh, have gotten to the table once that I'd like to give my initial gut reactions to. Um, Batman Gotham City Chronicles, a uh, game called Bastion I've played once, Furnace played once. Um, so yeah, I have a couple on the table that I would really like to just, my initial gut reaction after one play, um, I maybe will do that with this as well. But I appreciate you, love you, keep on keeping on, thanks for everything, thanks for watching this far. You are crazy people, I can't believe you did it. You made it though, congratulations, you get four points.